What is going on everyone? So in this week's video, I want to talk about my new favorite dark cloth. So this is made by Wanderer. This is their ultralight dark cloth. Uh, it weighs in at 166 grams, which is about half the weight of the dark cloths I've used prior to this. Now, as a matter of full disclosure, I paid full price for this. I have no affiliation with Wander. I just think they have a pretty cool product right here. So I'm gonna tell you why I chose this. I'm gonna tell you about my experience working with this dark cloth in the field and also how it works out with this camera and the reason I switched to this one in particular. So let's start by looking at the dark cloth I used prior to that, which is this one right here. Uh, this is from Beyond the Zone System. This is designed for eight by 10. I've used this with my past Ebony camera. I've used it with my Arca Swiss camera. It worked great with those cameras, um, but it just, it didn't fit this camera very well. It didn't grip the back of it. It has an elastic band, but there just wasn't much for it to hold on to. But this weighs in at 323 grams as opposed to 166 grams. Um, and you can see the difference in size and the fact that this one is gonna fold up way smaller than the Beyond the Zone system. Uh, the other one I've used in the past is from Camera Essentials. It's the Harrison Silver Classic Dark Cloth, which is in its stuff sack here. Uh, this one weighs in at 561 grams. You can also see that it folds down to about the same size as the Beyond the Zone system. This one sells for $81.95 at B&H. The Beyond the Zone system is $75 and the Wanderer is $158. So this one is significantly more expensive, but also it is slimmer and it is lighter. And this right here pairs very well with the Chamonix because it grips onto the back of the camera extremely well. It has a simple drawstring on the back and you would just place it over the back of the camera like that and then you cinch down at the base and it stays in place just fine, it doesn't come off. Uh, this is made of a synthetic material, very similar to like a puffy down jacket or a sleeping bag and you can even just based on the sound of it, kind of get a feeling for the material. Now, because of the material it's made of, it's not completely light proof. You're gonna get a faint reddish glow through this. And initially I was concerned that that might have a bit of an impact on some of the scenes I work with, but in the year or so that I've been using this, it has not been an issue. Um, and so the lenses I work with are fairly slow. Uh, this is one of the Fujinon C lenses which is a uh, f8.5 aperture. Um, I have some other ones that are even slower than that, like a you know, f12.5. Between that and the fact that this camera does not have a Fresnel on the ground glass, uh, it's kind of like a, a toughest case scenario in terms of a dark cloth, and this has been perfectly fine. Uh, the other thing, since it's a bit of a slippery material, uh, when you are underneath the dark cloth, it has a tendency to kind of slide around on you, especially if you're wearing a, like a, a beanie or something like that, where you have just the slickness of this. Um, and my workaround for that is I pretty much always wear a neck gaiter when I'm in the field, just for some protection for my neck. Um, but I can just take this and tuck it into the back of the neck gaiter, and then it is gonna, at that point, act a bit like the Beyond the Zone system, which is more of a hood uh, based setup. Um, so I love the fact that this folds down so small, the fact that it is lightweight. I can take it, fold it up, and put it inside the case along with this camera. And you can imagine the difference when going on a backpacking trip, trying to pack something like this, even though it's not super heavy, but just the bulk of it. And this folds down to be relatively flat, which is really good. So although it is expensive at $158, if you're looking to save a little bit of space in your bag, if you're looking to shed a little bit of weight, and if you don't mind the fact that, yes, it's a little bit slippery and it's not completely light proof, um, but it is gonna get the job done just fine. So if that is something you're looking for, I definitely recommend the Wanderer Ultralight Dark Cloth. I got it in the charcoal color here because I just like neutral colors, um, but I've been very, very happy. But I wanna thank everyone for watching. I'll see you around next time.